Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.47 from study book. So the question is obtain the Tepenin and Norton equivalent circuit of the figure. So probably I just want to find the Tepenin equivalent because from Tepenin equivalent we can find the Norton equivalent. So what we need to do is to find the Tepenin voltage or VTH and then find the Tevenin resistance which is RTH okay uh, because we have a dependent current source I think it is easier to find the VTH first probably let's do find VTH first okay now what is VTH? VTH is the open circuit voltage between the node a and B. So this is VTH which is equivalent to VAB. And let's set our ground here. So we set the VB is zero. So the VAB is equal equivalent to VA. And we just need to find VA. And not A is here. Because this is one node. And let's assume the direction of the current. This is going right, this is going down, and this also going down. I think that is all nodes, right? Let's do KCL at not A. KCL at not A. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. What is the currents that goes in? It is this one and remember that this node here is 30 volt from the ground so this will be 30 so i will have this current here is equal to 30 minus va 30 minus va divided by 12. okay and then this current here so i will have va that will equivalent to VA divided by 60. But this current is going out. So I put the equal sign there. VA divided by 60. Okay. And the other current that goes out is this one here. Which is 2VX. So I will have plus 2VX. And what is VX? VX is here. But if we check carefully, it is parallel with this VAB, so that also equivalent to VA. So we can just write that as VA, which is nice because VA is also the Tevenin voltage. Okay, what can we do? Here, maybe multiply both sides by, by 60. Yeah, I think 60 will work. Okay, so this will cancel into 5, so I will have 150 minus 5 VA and that will equal to this one will be VA and that one will be 120 VA okay I will have on the left hand side 150 and we put all the VAs to the right hand side so I will have 126 VA so we will have VA is this one 150 divided by 126 which is I need calculator to do that 1.1905 okay 1.1905 the unit will be volt and what's nice about this is this is also the Tevenin voltage Okay, now we have the Tevenin voltage here. What's next? We need to find the Tevenin resistance, which is a bit complicated because we have dependent current source here. Find RTS. First, we need to turn off the source, independent source. We have this 30 volt. As this is voltage source, we replace it by short circuit. So let's redraw the circuit here. 
and we still have this 12 ohm resistor and we also have that 60 ohm resistor and then we have that dependent current source which is the one that makes this thing complicated which is this is controlled by two vx and where is vx vx is here x and then this is the not a and b a and b okay now we have this 2vx but because there is no voltage we need to find out a way that can uh, make these things works so we can put a voltage source or current source to make to get the current between a b here or the voltage between a and b so i will use a current source here which the value is one ampere so the idea is to find out the Thevenin resistance by using the Ohm's law. So I will have VT, VAB. And because we put this current source 1 ampere here, so I will have this as 1. So basically the Thevenin resistance will equal to VA. A, B in this circuit. Okay. So let's put this as our ground and put this into a node here. Okay. Let's do KCL at node A again. KCL at node A. And remember that KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, now maybe let's assume the direction of the current. This is going in. This is going out. This is also going out. And I want this going to the right. Okay. And the current that goes in is this one here. I will have 1 ampere. And then plus this current here, which is zero because it is from the ground, minus VA. Minus VA divided by 12. And this current is going out, so let's put the equal sign. So you'll have this current here that is VA divided by 60. And then again. This one here is 2VX. And it is the same because VX is the same as VA. So I just put 2VA. Okay, maybe let's simplify this one by multiplying both sides by 60 again. This looks like the same. So I'll have 60. And then this will cancel into 5. So I'll have minus. 5 VA and this one will be VA and this one will be plus 120 VA okay so now I will have 60 and that will equal to this one will be 126 VA so that will Okay, now let's pull out our calculator to find out this one and I will have that as 60 divided by 126 and that will be 0 0.476 or 476.2 okay, 
maybe put that in perspective that VA is 4, 76, 76.2 because we multiplied by 1000 the unit will be milli volt. Okay, because VA, we have known VA, we can calculate the Thevenin resistance from here. So I have Thevenin resistance, which is VAB, which is also equal to VA. So I will have 476.2 millivolt divided by 100, which I will get 476.2 millivolt. So we'll have the Thevenin resistance, which is also the Norton resistance, right? Okay. The only one thing that we need to calculate, the last one, will be the Norton current. So the Norton current will be V Thevenin divided by R Thevenin. And the uh, Vtefenin will be 1.1905. And this Tefenin voltage will be 476.2. Okay, let's calculate that. <coughs> 1.1905. Divided by... or multiplied by 1000 because this is in the kilo ampere right so you have 2.5 ampere 2.5 ampere the norton the norton current so you can draw the tevenin and norton equivalent but i will not draw that because it's trivial enough we have VTH, RTH, and I Norton. And is it it is the same as the answer that given in the back of the book. So hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and see you in the next video. Bye bye.